Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you five different free resources that you can use to actually learn AI. Now just like me, you might be watching a bunch of YouTube videos or reading a lot of articles or maybe you're learning a lot just from my YouTube channel. But there's a difference between a content creator and an instructor. So the resources I'm going to show you today are built by people with an actual background in AI like Andrew and G. Now if this is your first time to my channel, I recommend everybody to subscribe to my AI newsletter where I'm soon going to start sending out AI workflows similar to this which I create for myself to complete different kinds of tasks using AI tools. Alright, let's get started. Now the first course I want to talk about is called AI for Everyone by Andrew NG. This is available on Coursera for free. And even though here it says financial aid available as if this would require financial aid, you can actually audit this course for free. This has almost a million people already enrolled. So this is definitely going to be a high quality course. Now if you don't know much about Andrew NG, he is the founder of Deep Learning AI and a professor at Stanford. And he has a long background in AI back before it was not as mainstream as today. And if you look at the syllabus, this starts all the way from the basics like what is AI, what is data, what is machine learning, and a bunch of other buzzwords that you might be hearing about but don't know what it means. It will also teach you how to build AI projects and building AI into your existing company. It also has a section where it covers how AI might affect society, how it might be biased, and also how people can use AI negatively. So I think this overall is going to be really comprehensive and cover everything that I need to know. So since today is May 29th, when I click this, it provides me with an option to either purchase the course for $49. Now this is not required because this just gives you a certificate. But if you do want a certificate, I think this is a decent price to actually get a certificate which you can post on your LinkedIn. But I personally will just go ahead and click audit only where you have access to all the course materials except the graded items which go towards the certification. And now I'm going to click continue. And just like that, I have access to all the materials which I can view at my own time. And this is really useful for me because I like learning on my own schedule, sometimes really early in the morning and sometimes late at night. So self-paced courses definitely work better for me. All right, the next resource I want to talk about is called learnprompting.org. It will teach you what prompting means, the different kinds of prompting that exist, examples of basic applications such as using prompts to structure data, writing an email, writing blogs, finding emojis, coding assistance, and summarizing text. You can then go ahead in the intermediate section for things like chain of thought prompting and zero shot chain of thought. Personally, I'm really excited to learn from this section called image prompting, where you can learn things like style modifiers, all about mid journey, and especially things like how to fix deformed generation, which is a big issue in the AI art world. I personally recommend bookmarking this resource to access when you need instead of going through the whole thing like a course. So this is more like a reference resource. Now going more towards an intermediate level, the next course I want to recommend is called CS50's Introduction to AI with Python. So here you will learn how to use machine learning in Python. Now this course is provided by Harvard and CS50 is already pretty well known in the programming world as the first programming course a lot of people have taken. This also starts starts on May 29th and I have already enrolled in it. So when you go to the course, it says this is CS50's introduction to AI with Python. It assumes that you have already taken CS50 itself or have some prior programming experience in Python. But if you don't have a background in programming or computer science in general, I highly recommend taking CS50's original course. It will teach you all the things you need to know to have your basics in computer science ready to go. And when you're ready, all you do is click start course. And now all the course materials are available to use at your own time. The fourth course I want to talk about is called ChatGPT Prompt Engineering for Developers. This is a course presented by DeepLearning.ai by Andrew NG in partnership with OpenAI. So all the materials here will be very specific to ChatGPT and OpenAI. Now this course is not very long, it's only one hour, but it says this is free for a limited time. So I highly recommend taking this course even if you don't understand everything. Because I think this will definitely be really useful. So when you're ready, just click learn for free and register with deeplearning.ai. 
and then you will have access to all the materials right here where you can learn things like iteration, summarization, inferring, transforming, expanding, and chatbots. All right, the last course I want to recommend is definitely more on the advanced side if you're new to AI, and this is provided by Google. It's called Introduction to Machine Learning. Here you can learn all kinds of machine learning concepts such as training and test sets, logistic regression, neural networks, and training neural networks. You can also learn the differences between different kinds of training and inferences, but if you don't have a background in computer science, this will be slightly harder to understand. And I recommend looking at the pre-work and prerequisites needed for this course, and if this is too much, then you might not be ready. But after taking the CS50 course that I just showed you, I think this would be fine. All right, that's all I have for you in this video. If you did get some value from it, make sure to subscribe to my AI newsletter and YouTube channel and click like on this video. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.